How's it going, everybody? It is your old pal Baba Ganoush here. Welcome back. I hope you're all having a great one here today. So if you're anything like me, you've been hiking for a while, you have gone through a multitude of different hiking footwear options. Everything from your tall cut boots all the way down to your multitude of different trail runner options. As hikers, we are always, always looking to improve our gear setup, improve our experience, and part of that is our footwear. And just in the last few years, this one particular brand has been sweeping across the market and really taking over a lot of the hiker industry. That brand and that shoe in particular is the Ultra Lone Peak. But does that make it the best hiking shoe ever? Let's go ahead and talk about it. Okay, everybody, before I go ahead and get started, be sure to subscribe down below to keep up to date with all my future videos. I got some great stuff coming out there for you. And at the end of this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. So back to the topic at hand, the Ultra Lone Peak. Is it really the best hiking shoe ever? Now, that being said, I do actually have some statistics here. So these stats are straight from the website, The Trek. I will make sure to put that link in the description below. Uh, and this is from the 2019 Appalachian Trail Through Hiker survey in regards to what kind of footwear that was chosen. So I got some good stuff here for you. Hold on. 365 hikers actually respond to the survey. Uh, these numbers are amazing. So, um, so out of those 365 people who actually were surveyed, only almost 72% of them started off wearing trail runners for their hike. Overall, over 77% of hikers at one point in time wore trail runners along their Appalachian Trail through hike. Now this is where it really gets good. So out of that 365 people that were surveyed, 139 of them chose the Ultra brand in particular. Of that 139, 99 chose the Ultra Lone Peak specifically. So what we're seeing here is essentially a third, a third of almost all through hikers are choosing Ultra and the Ultra Lone Peak in particular uh, for their hiking shoe option. Just to put things into perspective, the next closest competitor is Solomon and 60 hikers went with the Solomon brand. That is absolutely a remarkable difference, a remarkable statistic. So with those wild numbers, with those crazy statistics, why is the Ultra Lone Peak so popular? And it has to do with the construction of the shoe itself. Ultra came out with this a number of years ago and it has been just a whirlwind of, of uh, kind of taking over the market. Uh, they came out with what they call their foot-shaped toe box. In traditional shoes, a lot of the time your foot is going, your shoe, I'm sorry, uh, is going to actually come to a point on the top of the shoe here. As you hike and you get foot swell, not allowing your toes to sprawl properly, it can lead to your foot kind of cramping up throughout the day. So with that wider toe box, that foot-shaped toe box, it allows for a much more natural toe sprawl as you're hiking. Now the benefits of that in particular is with that natural toe sprawl it's actually going to allow you to stretch out all the tendons and ligaments underfoot. So especially those who are susceptible to you know foot cramping or plantar fasciitis you know this is a spectacular option to help prevent that in the long run. Going along with not only the foot shaped toe box construction um, but Ultra does something, especially the Lone Peak, they do what's called zero drop. Now what zero drop means is that your heel and your toes are actually going to be along the same plane. Uh, so you do have a little bit of a lower heel strike, uh, but that being said is actually a more natural heel to toe plant as you are hiking. You know, just like our ancestors walking around bare feet for all those years, um, you know, scientists determined that their, their legs and their backs, you know, their cores in particular were just so much stronger than your average human being today. And part of that is because we don't walk around in bare feet anymore. We're not having that natural heel to toe plant and our natural reaction, our, our body's natural reaction to that plant. Um, so wearing that, that zero drop, I myself have noticed that my calves, my hamstrings, and my lower back uh, tend to be 
just much stronger, especially for long days and long weeks. Now the Ultra Lone Peak is a really nice medium cushion underfoot. It's not such a minimal shoe that you feel every little, uh, every little stick, every little rut under your foot, um, but it's not so thick either that you just don't have that connection and that contact with the ground. So a good medium cushion to provide some good rebound um, and from some good stability throughout the day, but not too much, not too little, a really good balance in regards to that. Now for my 2018 Appalachian Trail through hike, my shoe of choice was the Ultra Lone Peak 3.5. And if you would like to take a like to take a look at uh, the review that I did of that and why I chose that shoe, you can take a look right up here if you would like. Uh, however, from the 3.5 to the new Lone Peak 4 and the new Lone Peak 4.5, uh, some changes have been made. Number one, the uh, sole rubber has been changed up a little bit to be something uh, a little bit more rubberized, a little bit grippier, especially on rocks. The lugs on the bottom certainly have changed as well. Um, and I have noticed from the 3.5 to the 4 and the 4.5, a giant, giant jump up in the traction that I do have underfoot. Something new that I was really happy Ultra introduced into the 4 and the 4.5 is a really, really lightweight kind of rock plastic rock guard underfoot. That was something that was missing from the Ultra Lone Peak 3.5 I didn't really have any problem on my through hike, uh, but certainly I have noticed a difference just with, you know, beating your feet up underneath all day long, just for that added stability and whatnot as well. I have noticed uh, just a good drastic improvement uh, with, you know, some of that contact underfoot. So from all the statistics that, that I just read off from my own experiences, uh, from feedback from so many other hikers as well on my own Appalachian Trail through hike, as well as those coming into work at REI, um, you know, I, I feel like Ultra has just absolutely struck gold uh, with their design, with the Lone Peak in particular. I am very excited for what Ultra is going to be doing moving forward in the future. They are my go-to brand. I will not wear anything else other than Ultra, um, and especially the Ultra Lone Peak 4 the best hiking shoe ever. So there you have it everybody, the best hiking shoe ever, the Ultra Lone Peak 4. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to go through these for another couple hundred miles and then buy another pair. I will never buy another pair of hiking shoes besides the Ultra Lone Peaks. So thank you all so much for watching here today. I hope this helped a little bit, help make some of your own decisions, whether it be for your own hiking footwear or if you're planning on doing a through hike as well. That being said, make sure you get into a store, try some shoes on, find out where work works well for you, but I definitely recommend taking a look at these bad boys right here. In the meantime, I want to thank you all so much for following along on another fantastic video here today. Be sure to subscribe down below to keep up to date with all my future videos. If you did enjoy this video as well, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. I always do appreciate it. And if you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you all so much for following along again. Baba Ganoush, out.